Hello guys, my name is Nasia. This is Jimmy, my new friend. Jimmy, <laughs> so cute. I'm from Ukraine and I'm in Nepal since 10 months. I came here in February by tourist visa. I applied to, uh, on arrival for one month and I paid like a $50. And then I again applied uh, for a month's visa, um, it was $90 second time. So I had a two months tourist visa from February 16 till April 16. And uh, during this time in April in Nepal, it was a lockdown, it was a quarantine, everything was closed and the immigration office was closed as well. So they told us do not pay for a visa we are giving a free visa for all the foreigners who came here by the tourist tourist visa so i just uh, continue staying here because i came here with my boyfriend and like i can't leave my country i mean i can't go back to my country without him and we decided to stay here and uh, the next things uh, happened um, in uh, august the Pali government they said that they are reopening everything and Grecian office the airport and and so on and uh, they said us to come here to the immigration office so we came there and they said that in 15 days i have to leave country or stay uh, but if i want to stay i am i am able to stay till december 15 paying a normal uh, visa fee uh, like a tourist fee 90 dollars per month so i decided to stay and i applied for a two months visa and now it's november and I'm still here, but tourist visa and what happened? Then after December 15, all foreigners they have to leave country or um, you can change visa type. And if you want to change visa type, those four months that, we were, that um, um, during lockdown, you have to pay that all visa. It was 121 day and they're counting not a normal visa fee they're counting eight dollar per day so it's like 968 dollar if you want to stay up to december 15 you have to pay this fine and then you can apply for um, a new visa type like a work visa or a student visa but not tourist or a marriage family visa or any type of visa so we had no choice that we want to stay here because uh, we cannot go back to ukraine because it's locked down and we cannot uh, we don't have any other option and they do not give us any other option like uh, uh, we were talking to them since month and you know they are not like helpful people they are all like money people here in the immigration office um okay thanks uh, immigration office for giving opportunity to stay here but at last they will take all your money you know <laughs> as usually let's go okay so you know guys as i'm with my boyfriend and i can't leave him and uh, now in ukraine it's um, like everything is closing again and there is no ukrainian embassy in nepal that is most important thing that i maybe can take him by any type of visa like a marriage visa like we can marry and i can take him or a student visa it's okay but there is no embassy of ukraine in nepal so it's hard and everyone is telling us that we have to go india really we don't have any other option like i'm living alone and like what when we'll meet after i leave so we decided to stay here and we applied a marriage visa and in this video later i'll show you how did i pay one one thousand something dollar to stay in nepal that's crazy moment and now we are going to the immigration office to pay for visa to pay for my visa Immigration 
office in Kalikastan, Kathmandu, and I'm going to pay one lakh something. <laughs> something, something, one lakh. Oh. <laughs> Lifetime experience, Bridget Nepal. One lakh. Fifteen. 15 yeah. Bye bye money. <laughs> Got to. They can just take what you know. <laughs> what is this? Where is my one lakh? In immigration office to change visa type, I paid one lakh fourteen thousand six hundred forty Nepali rupees. Oh my god! And now I'm going up to change my visa type. Visit Nepal 2020 lifetime experience. <laughs> After three hours of waiting, we did it! Woohoo! <laughs>